I was here at a rope drop earlier last week and I was commenting about how much I love seeing Town Square in the early morning because of all the electricity and the, the vehicles and the characters and that it's a different vibe than it is at let's say two o'clock in the afternoon. It's six o'clock on a Wednesday evening here at the Disneyland Resort, two days before the Halloween season. And I'm standing up here in my customary spot where I often like to start my show. Observing how much I love <laughs> Town Square at about this time in the evening. You know, it's about, it's, it's more or less magic hour. It's actually a little late for magic hour. We've only got maybe an hour left of that, not if that even. But there's a certain peacefulness to Town Square, you know, at this time in the day. There, there's more fatigue, but it's and it's almost in a good way, you know? Uh, just people having a very chill time right now. I feel like the, I feel like the worst time to be at the park is one o'clock. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> get here in the morning for the optimism, get here in the evening for the chill vibes. Tonight, we're gonna spend, I'm gonna film as much of this as I can during Magic Hour because the light is just always so great. And I love to shoot, obviously, in this light, who doesn't? And then we'll see where the uh, day takes us. People are already staking out their spots for the Main Street Electrical Parade, which ends tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last night for the Main Street Electrical Parade. Huh, should I be here for that? I mean, I feel like I should. Although they haven't, they haven't gone so far as to say, hey, hey guys, this is the last Main Street Electrical Parade that you're ever gonna see. They haven't said anything like that, where they have said that twice before. Twice before we've had, this is the last Main Street Electrical Parade you're ever gonna see type language from Disney, but they have not, uttered a single word of that so you can pretty much count on it coming back at some point maybe not here maybe at Walt Disney World do they even have a nighttime parade at Disney World Hi. Uh. When you buy your balloons, do you buy your balloons early in the day or late in the day? Because I feel like taking it around the park all day is kind of a drag. You got to bring it on the attractions with you and you're always kind of corralling it. It's always, you know, getting loose. And then I like to buy Sophia's balloons at the end of the day and then she takes it home and beats the crap out of it for a couple days. She loves balloons. Uh, and I, <laughs> I've got video of her just destroying a whole bo a bouquet of balloons once. It was awesome. You know what I want to do? Let's get analog. Fresh baked. Let's get analog as we start our evening here. Kind of analog. I mean, the board is digital, but I want to see the wait times. I feel like it's going to be a very slow day today. Have you seen the wait times coming out of Disney World on? Uh, not so scary Halloween party nights. My goodness. Okay. Look, start, rise of resistance is 50 minutes. Nothing else is over 40. Alice in Wonderland is the tops at 35 on this board, as is Big Thunder. But a lot of virtual walk ons. And then here's Indiana Jones at 45, but Jungle Cruise is 15. Peter Pan is 40. That's to be expected. And Space Mountain. And Splash Mountain is 35. Wow. I'm tempted, you guys. I know we just did Jungle Cruise, but I'm tempted to go see if that's a legit thing. But I kind of want to walk around. I kind of just want to walk around. We have time later for rides, I think. I want to go look at the rivers of America. You can feel it, it is not busy. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if it's the heat or if it's, you know, people um, going back to school, 
I mean, that's obviously a factor, but uh, you know, it, I don't know, man. It feels super light. Casual, <laughs> almost. Da -da -da -da. How's it going? Da -da 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 Look at that. God, this would be a lovely time for the Mark Twain, wouldn't it? When's the last time I took you guys on the Mark Twain? I know I go all the time. <laughs> I know I do it constantly, but it's such a beautiful ride. Like, why shouldn't I? I tell you what, we'll let the uh, Disney winds guide us. If we can just sort of smoothly sashay our way into the boat, we'll do it. If not, we won't. We'll let the Disney gods tell us. Actually, I, the, the gods have spoken. <laughs> We've angered the gods with our talk of going on the Mark Twain. It is, uh, it's closed. They're not letting anybody on. I can see the ropes up. Never a good sign, we see ropes. It is late, I mean, it is six o'clock, so uh, it's about the right time for them to not run the Mark Twain as they prepare for the Fantasmic, which is going to be weekends only starting uh, Labor Day. September 5th will be the last. Uh, well, no, I guess. Yeah, September 5th is a Sunday, I think. So that following Monday, Labor Day, it will not be. There will be no Fantastic. Friday, Saturday, Sunday only. I, I talked about this in a news video. I was, so, I was so shocked to hear it, but apparently I'm a dummy. Apparently they did that a lot back in the day. I don't, you know, I've been coming to Disneyland a lot for years, 10 years, but. Truth be told, uh, most of that was on the weekends. The first nine years, the first eight years of that, I guess. So maybe I was just dumb, which is a very reasonable uh, thing to say. There's a lot of things that I that I am more aware of today than I than I was ever back then. You know, I didn't pay attention to things like I do today. But I swear, I I, I just don't ever remember that being a thing. It shocked me. But there you have it. Weeknights only, starting September 6th. So where are we going? I don't know. I want I was hoping to catch some river traffic, but that's not going to be a thing. And it's been a minute. Look at that. Pirates of the Caribbean looks like a walk-on. Yo-ho! Where do I get in? No, I don't want to do that. I want to... <laughs> I don't want to do that. Never mind. I forgot. I'm trying to walk through the park. I want to see this light. God, I was so tempted, guys. That's so cool when you're walking around Disneyland and you gotta fight that. <laughs> it's so easy to just jump into attraction. I love it. Oh, look at that. Hi. I'm great, thank you. A smattering of guests loitering for Fantastic. It's a little early. Six o'clock, I feel like it's a little early to get ready for Fantastic. Okay. I heard the train. <laughs> I heard the train. I came running. Yes. Got away from the train conductor. That was pretty awesome. Oh, look at that empty train. My gosh, you guys. Everything is so tempting. Is it the heat? Is it the season? Are guests just staying home? What is it? I mean, I've been to Disneyland on hot days. <laughs> plenty of hot days. And plenty of those days were super busy. I don't know, that's a tough one, man. It's such a weird thing these days. It's so difficult to know where the you know the temperature of guests are. What what is the guest temperature these days? And this light is beautiful. Loving it. I'm leaning toward it's a mix. It's a mix of I don't want to give it a weekday mix because I've shown off you know I've shown often that 
weekdays are, have become just as busy and popular as Saturdays and Sundays. Sundays especially are just getting slow, downright slow. Uh, but there's the, you know, there's the heat factor, and there is the school factor, and there is the factor that people are just, they, they, they're burnt out. They're burnt out on, uh, on Disney making things so complicated. I, it's gotta be, right? And, and expensive too, there's the money factor too. But never mind that, for now, I'm going to chill out on this river right here. Again, I was hoping for some traffic, but we're not even gonna get Tom Sawyer traffic. The Fantastic crews are already on the island doing their thing. The animatronic birds on the river are doing their thing. But it is super lovely just to be able to sit here and watch everything in action. I just realized I need to head this direction. We gotta go back. I'm doing two things at once here, Fresh Baked. <laughs> I'm doing two things at once. I'm doing a video where, uh, you know, we're just kind of farting around Disneyland on this Wednesday evening, but I'm also doing recon, and uh, I wanted to go look at Tarzan's treehouse, so you're going to have to come with me while I do that. I hope you don't mind. Ba -da 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 -da. Actually, I'm going to do it from right here. I want to see if I can see anything. What is that? You see something shiny? What is that shiny thing? Yeah, that shiny thing was just a light that they've turned on. Wasn't expecting that. I've got thoughts about this, you guys. I've got thoughts about Tarzan's treehouse that are a little bit out of the box. Stay tuned for a video. I'm gonna talk about updates on Tarzan's Treehouse, I've got some thoughts on that. Some interesting thoughts. We're gonna talk about Splash Mountain a little bit. Uh, and there was a third item that I can't recall, but I, I don't wanna call them rumors or predictions or whatever, but it's, stay tuned for that. That's coming up soon on Fresh Baked Proper. I'm not even sure where this video is gonna be, if it's gonna be on Fresh Baked Proper or on Fresh Baked Presents. But that's where you'll find the, the video I'm talking about when it comes to Tarzan's Treehouse uh, and Splash Mountain. Watching this raft go across will be, will have to do as far as river traffic goes, but it still counts. It still counts because it's the same sounds, and the same sort of ballet like movements over to Tom Sawyer's Island where he's likely going to be picking up those cast members over there. resume my <laughs> my loving of this angle of the river towards New Orleans Square there's something about the curvature of the river that adds to its aesthetic that allows for you to sort of take in things at a very interesting angle um, it allows because I love to see things with reference right it's not enough for me to just see the river the river's great right but it's not the same without having the reference and the reference I mean is the, the the land coming up around it, right? So getting that in the same shot, getting Frontierland in the same shot as the river, or vice versa, if I'm shooting from that side by, you know, the uh, the petrified rock over there, petrified whatever, the, the gift that <laughs> Walt's gift to, <laughs> to Lillian, uh, but shooting with, you know, with New Orleans Square at the other side. It looks really great. Same thing even when you do it from Tom Suarez Island, you shoot from the fantastic stage over here and you're looking back over this way oh look they're practicing or they're getting ready for the mist uh looking at nowhere on the square this direction i love the look of that i love to see people enjoying being in the park from a distance you know and that's why i like i like riding the monorail uh or the um or the disneyland railroad 
or any attraction that allows me to see uh, like above or around or something. I, and I love like, like uh, the Disneyland Railroad, the Disneyland Railroad going through Splash Mountain. I find that very enjoyable. <laughs> I do find that very enjoyable. Uh, so that's, that's, that's one of the reasons why I'm so enamored, so infatuated with the idea of bringing back the paper mover because that is the very definite, that, that would be the pinnacle, the pinnacle of that type of experience because you get to see so much of Tomorrowland uh, while you're on, you know, the people mover, or you would, from from above and from a distance, from like sort of a, you know, a detached, you know, detached view. Good job. I just stopped. I stopped to, to admire Pelican's Landing. Good job. Really, we haven't talked about it much. I don't ever hear people talking about Pelican's Landing. Let's just go over here. Um, but they did a great job with this. They really did. Great job. Sorry, I got distracted. I do that sometimes when I'm uh, walking through the park like this. Splash Mountain had a 35 minute wait when we checked the board. Should I get one of those hats from Galaxy's Edge? You know, uh, those sun hats? Liz laughed at me when I suggested it, but <laughs> I kind of like them. It's not exactly a flat cap or a fedora, but <laughs> I like weird hats. What can I say? Well, actually, flat caps and fedoras aren't weird hats. They're different for today's mindset, but they were quite the rage back in the day. That's me. I'm an old soul. Uh, but 35 minutes, you guys, that seems almost impossible. I can hardly believe it. Let's walk by. They're just kind of casually strolling in there. The rope is down. There's no extended queue. There is the back of the line right there, though. So if that's a third, you know what? I want to go back. I'm going to go back and look at what the posted time is now. Analog style. Oh my goodness. Woo. <laughs> Fantastic. We're almost there. Okay. Yeah, Splash now says 55. 35. Yeah, that seemed impossible. And with that queue that we saw back there, that makes sense. Because I was wondering if it was 35, that must be another situation where they're not having any lightning lanes. I feel like since Disney, <laughs> since Disney offered the, the discount for GD Plus, yeah. so, uh, for GD Plus to uh, Magic Keys, that the situation has gotten worse. They're selling fewer. Because I routinely, I'm seeing this when I walk around the park, where uh, weights are not, they're not commensurate with what I expect, given where people are in the queue. Like, you know, where I saw guests here at the back of the queue. You tell me that's 35 minutes, I'm gonna, there's just no way. That's not a 35 minute wait. I mean a 50, or yeah, 35 minute wait. That's an hour wait. So in this case, it's accurate. There's a lot of guests going down that way. But if you were to show me that queue and it was it was it was timed as a 35 minute wait, I would say that's because there's nobody using GD Plus. It's a lot of talking for one little video so far. Hope you guys don't mind. Oh god, it's beautiful. Every single time. Oh, bird. <laughs> or duck, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was lovely. Wow. It's amazing. Really is amazing. Did 
I, oh no, I thought I heard a train there for a second, but that was something else. All right, I want to go cruise by Rise of the Resistance. The sun is going down, so we're almost done with our little walk. Maybe it's time to get in a queue. We'll see. We'll let our uh, eyes tell us. We were denied at the Mark Twain. Will it be the same at Rise of the Resistance? Because it has been a little bit. It's been a little bit since we've been on Rise. Oh. Can you feel that? So far, so good. I don't see anybody. I see some people in part B, but not uh, part C and D are wide open. But parts A and B of the ex of the exterior queue look pretty stacked. I mean, it's not bad though. I can handle that. Should we go for it? Hi guys! Hi! We'll take a quick peek at the uh, lightning lane and see, but I feel like I may want to invest a little time here. How's it going? Yeah, it does post 55. I don't know, man. There's nobody, very few people in lightning lane. You know what? The queue will just have to be the show. Oh, pardon me. 55 minutes stand by. Let's see what happens. I mean, this right here. They did such a great job of this queue. They really did. Q is the show for me. Now I have done a lot of recon on this exterior queue and uh, I'm gonna guess we're gonna be 25 minutes get to the cave, to get to the cave entrance. Fish bait. Hey, how's it going? Man. All right, thank you guys. Uh, I'm gonna guess 25 minutes to get to the cave entrance, and then it's another 20 inside to get to, uh, to get to Ray. So far, so good. It's only been about five minutes, and we've gotten pretty deep. It, the move, look how quickly the, move, the queue is moving. Look at that, right? That's a good sign. So it'll be, it might even be less than 25 minutes or 20 minutes. What did I say? 20, 25, 20 outside, 25 inside is what I said. But the more we do this, the more we keep moving like this, the better, man. This is wonderful. This is a goes quick though. And it should, rise of resistance shouldn't go quick though. It should go slow though. Because of all the lightning light. I haven't stopped since I turned the camera on. It's been a full minute. <laughs> and I know I'm a weirdo for noticing that, but th this is what I do. <laughs> Still going. You ever play that game? I used to play a game with my son. I would, I would pick him up, my mom would watch him while I was at work. And I'd pick him up after work. And she, we lived about 20 minutes away from the house. Uh, surface streets and I would say let's see how many let's see if we can't stop let's see if we can get all the way home without stopping right so I would I would you know hit the lights just try to time it right but there were times when I would just so slowly crawl at a red light as long as I kept moving and he was he would laugh he would crack up because you know we were like gaming 
we, we were gaming the game a little bit. That's what I was trying to do just now. <laughs> Try to walk really slow so that I didn't have to stop. I did stop though, we stopped. But only for a minute. While I was doing this, we stopped for a minute. I had that wrong. I thought it was five minutes when I started that scene. It had only, it's now been five minutes. We're almost at the cave in five minutes. So it will be in the cave. Oh my God, I'm such a dork. We'll be at the cave in about seven minutes and into the queue in another five, into the interior queue in another five, I think. This is going quick though. That fan just hit me this way. Thank you very much. It is. That was just 10 minutes to get into the interior part of the queue. Now, I don't expect this to be as quick as it was out there. I am looking at 20 still inside because you can tell things are st we're stopping more often now that we're inside. So, but I am, I'm going to say we're going to be uh, talking to Ray here in, in 20 minutes. Now, it's worth noting though that uh, the wait the 55 minute wait time for Disney is to the vehicle, not to Ray. Where, because it's sometimes you, you, you want to make, is it to the ride or is it the show? Like, when does the show start? For me, the show starts with Ray. That's the beginning of the show for me. Uh, so I feel like if I can get there in a reasonable amount of time, everything else that happens after that is part of the show and not part of the wait. So I feel like 30 minutes is good. But that's something to remember. You can knock off, when you go out there and look at that board and it says 55 minutes, if you are like me and you think that the show starts with Ray, then you can knock off a solid 10 minutes off of whatever wait time. Uh, so, you know, because by the time we're done here, by the time we get to our day, it might be closer to 55, it'll probably be, I can't think, I, think, I want to say it's like 10 minutes, so closer to 40, which is still great. Uh, but that is a distinction. For me, like on a mansion, the show starts when you get in the house, not at the vehicle, so the wait time is always less. That's one of the reasons why it is less in some occasions. Where people feel like it's overstated, but that's because uh, the show hasn't started yet as far as business is concerned.
20 minutes to the sleeping quarters, which I, we're kind of rolling in right here to the sorting room before we get to see Ray. So we're ahead of my schedule even. I think we're gonna be, yeah, 20 minutes to the pre-room. Yeah, we'll be seeing Ray in right now. <laughs> that is record time for a general standby day. Record time for me. I'm gonna try to draw them away! Copy that! 
Get us clear so we can make the jump. Be ready. Order for sun. Where are all those TIE fighters coming from? They'll quickly out there. What are they? Star destroyers. We can't. We're caught in a trap to be. It's pulling us in. I'll get some friends and make this a fair fight. Don't worry, I'll come back for you. Stay strong. Also to stay on video. Identify yourself. Prepare to be boarded. This is TR-141. Oh, oh, so <laughs> he really went for it. By the authority of the First Order, Resistance Scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. They'll twin the end there. They're on the location of our secret base. Tell them nothing. The future of the Resistance is at stake. I have a bad feeling about this. Stand back from those doors. So we've been to Ray, we've been on the shuttle, we still have to go through the interrogation room before we get to our vehicles. We're looking at another 10 minutes at least, so it's going to be about 40 by the time we're in our vehicle.
the resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally.
target. Ground crews will meet you outside the wreck. All right, nice job, recruits. Not what you sign on for, but hey, your resistance now. I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. I know. Scat for his pod beacon. Job recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the resistance base is secure. Bravo! Yes, R5, you too. Couple things. A nailed it. 40 minutes in the vehicle exactly on the nose. 40 minutes. That was pretty awesome. Two, what a great ride. <laughs> you know, I I sometimes sleep on rides because I don't go on it much because I like to take the path of the least resistance, yada yada yada, spending 40 minutes in a queue, 50, 60, whatever. Generally, I just like to kind of like soak in the park. But there's something too. There's a lot of soaking happening inside that queue, man. Hey, how's it going? Uh, just even even the exterior queue out here, and uh, you know, at, at, well, all of it. The whole everything is great. You're, there's so much to soak in. So it really is a 360 experience, not just in the attraction, which we've called it that many times in the past. I've called the actual proper ride part of Rise of the Resistance a 360 attraction. But that includes the whole thing. From, from As soon as you cross the threshold into the queue, you are in the show. And it's that's pretty amazing. They have done a hell of a thing here at Rise of the Resistance. And then when you're done, you get to come out and look at this beautiful thing. I have watched them. You guys, I spent two and a half years or something like that just sculpt every foot of this view right here every everything you're looking at i've watched them sculpt i mean some of the stuff you can see from the mickey and friends parking structure some of it you can't but we could see them build all of that right we watched them build these these uh, the, the the interior cues they were kind of hard to see from that view but but there were times when we could really see what was going on it was really fun watching them build the walls i remember they were building those walls at first and they were hanging that uh you know the forms Oh my God, I'm having such wonderful flashback memories of my times watching them build Galaxy's Edge. I feel like, you know, I'm a citizen here, having been here, you know, in watch them, watch this place grow for years now. Years. Galaxy's Edge. Years. Multiples. It's great. The Kessel Run in 12 parsecs. I'm not sure if I'd want that on the shirt. I feel like they've taken the whole 12 parsec thing too far. That line in Force Awakens, when she says, oh, you're Han Solo, you're the guy who did the Kessel Run in 14 parsecs, and he corrects her to 12. I felt a little forced to me. I feel like they sometimes they try too hard. Hey, hey guys, hey. Hi. Whatever, go with it. And now I'm hungry. There's like just a smattering of food that I still haven't eaten here in Galaxy's Edge, which I think we might be doing right now. There's some new um, like chicken wings or buffalo wings or something at Ketsaka's that uh, I think it's seasonal, but I, I still want to try. I think I, I think I haven't had the popcorn yet there. Is it Katsaka or Katsaka? I don't know if I've ever seen it in the frame like this before. I'm having so many moments right now, Fresh Pig. I'm beside myself. Not literally. Wow, look at this. Look at, look at, look at, holy crap. <laughs> Never in my life. Wow, I just have to take this in. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for something to happen. 
I mean, didn't that walk over here from Rise of Resistance look a little hectic? But look at this. Okay, Disney. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Is this what you wanted? I don't know, I don't know. I ask myself that question all the time. Let's get some food. Chilling out here in front of the Ronto Roasters. Got myself, this is the Char Su Chicken Tiki uh, Drumstick. I'm just gonna get into it, actually. Because it smells really good. It's got kind of a sweet, almost caramelized, well, I guess maybe it is, because it, it has been cooking there for a while. Up. That's pretty good. There you go, here's some of that chicken. That's not bad. I very much like you know, the burnt crispy parts like this. I don't know, that's probably wrong. I'm not supposed to just enjoy that. But I do, I do, and it is kind of sweet. You know, the, the, kind of, I don't know if the caramel is the right word, but kind of light. I'm not sure if that's the right term or not. But it is kind of sweet, and uh, the chicken's good. Not, it's not, you know, overcooked or undercooked. Pardon me, the tip yep. It has kind of a salty, the, 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 the chicken, what is I peeled off this. Okay, I don't know what's going on there, but that's okay. That's the, uh, that's whatever they, you know, the, the sauce or whatever. It has kind of a salty flavor or note to it, kind of like a, like a turkey leg. Which, if we're comparing it to a turkey leg, I much prefer this to that, at least in the sense that this is my kind of portion. Turkey leg is way too big. It's so intimidating. I can barely, I, I can't even eat half of it. I probably won't even eat all, all of this. You get two of these. This, this is the meal. Got my Sprite disguised as a thermal detonator. Cheers. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of digging this. It's not a total home run. It's not the best thing I've ever had, but I mean, as far as chicken goes apart, it's pretty good. And I, I do like the, the glaze on there. I also got popcorn. This is what Ketsakas is known for, is their popcorn. I got the seasonal ones. This is the chocolate caramel mix. A little light on the sweet. Mm, now I got that a little bit. I like my notes stronger, if I can help it. Not bad. Well, I would prefer to be a little sweeter, though. There you go, fresh bake. Enjoy. Doesn't seem real, does it? Seems unreal. They built this. <laughs> ah, they built this. That's so great. Taking a quick pass through this part of Galaxy's Edge before I head down or back to the entrance. I've gotten word that my wife is here. She's going to join me for the rest of this evening. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, we're now entering Act Two. Act Three? Act Three. How many acts are in our show tonight? I don't know. <laughs> which, okay, so we had the walk, we had the walk in act. We're just walking around through, uh, you know, uh, Twilight at the park. And then Act Two was Rise of the Resistance and Galaxy's Edge here. And I guess Act Three is going to be. Uh, Whatever it is, whatever kind of trouble me and my wife get into while we're here, and about she, you know she's all, she's on her way in now, and we're going to walk it out, walk it back to her. Oh, Kylo's here. We just ran into him a minute ago. 
just barely escaped. Tell him it's a prisoner transfer. Why was that guy just looking at the light? <laughs> Did you guys see that? Oh. Well, he's doing we it again. All have our heroes, don't we? my fun for the night with a stormtrooper. Hey, how's it going? Ah, there's so much fun. I love stormtroopers. All right, let's do this. Are they doing the army cadence? Because it sounded a lot like to the right, to the right, to the right, right, right. How does that go? To the left, to the left, to the left, right. Oh, there you go. <laughs> now I got it. happening there's nobody in the Pinocchio queue I might have to bring Liz over here tonight we love doing fantasy land together I mean look at that there's, and it's open huh. snow white looking agreeable even Peter Pan I mean it's not it's not a walk-on, but that's 30, not 45. Wait, 
Oh, we can't get out this way. Okay. They're getting ready for the fireworks, so can't go out that way. I was hoping to go through the castle, but no such luck. Oh, it's gonna get dark. My apologies. Well, they really got us going the wrong way, don't they? Hopefully, we can get out through Fantasyland and not have to go all the way through Frontierland. I don't know who said that, but <laughs> I hope I got you. Hey, how are you? Hey. They closed off Main Street. It looks like they have. How am I gonna find my wife in this mess? Good evening, everyone. In just 30 minutes, experience the excitement and the glorious spectacle of the most electrifying parade in Disney history. Join us as the heart of Disney Line lights up with the magic of the mainstream electrical parade. It all begins in just 30 minutes. Thank you. Buenas noches a todos. En tan solo 30 minutos, viva la emoción y el glorioso espectáculo del desfile más electrizante en la historia de Disney. Acompáñenos para ver cómo el corazón de Disneyland se enciende con la magia del desfile de luces Main Street Electrical Parade. Gracias. Balloons. Yay. <laughs> my first look at Winky Pumpkin uh, at night of the season. Da, 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 da. We, and we kind of just blew by <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> We've blown by the whole Halloween season so far. We have not shown hardly any Halloween stuff this year on video. I just, I, I don't know why. It just didn't work out. He's doing other things. But anyway, there you go. Winky Pumpkin. You guys see my wife yet?
Maybe at nighttime we're on the train. Although it's hard to see. I guess it's hard to see at night on the, through the camera. But I love the train at night. All right, I'm gonna have to check in with my lady, see where she's at. We did not encounter her. Hi. Uh, and I found my wife. Hi. Hi. I'm here. Yeah. It's like eight. Oh my! What is this crowd? Oh, this is uh, electrical parade business. Uh. Let's keep walking. You said you're hungry? I am. I have not had dinner. I've been nonstop. I cleaned the whole house almost, gave Sophie a bath, walked the dog, got myself ready somehow, and now I'm here. All right. Well, let's go get you fed. Let's go to Rancho del Zacalo. That is her choice for the evening. We'll make our way through this Main Street electrical parade traffic. We just came through here, and now we're going back. No, this is just Main Street. It's not been busy today at all. Oh, really? I, I went on rides. You went on rides? <laughs> I did, yeah. Did you go again? No. Oh, man. <laughs> I love the done rides. <laughs> That's humorous. Uh, so I just, I was just trying to place a mobile order for Liz, where she wanted to go to Rancho. There's, it's saying I can't place a mobile order. There's no mobile order uh -oh. available. Now, does that mean it's closed, or does that mean they've canceled mobile order? In just a few minutes, the heart of Disneyland will light up with the magic of the Main Last Street Electrical day. Parade. Tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. Oh, okay. Or this Disney Classic, well, second to last. beginning in just a few minutes. Oh, she did the thing. Yeah. You haven't been to Disneyland unless you've done the thing. Yeah, good for them. Yeah. You okay? <laughs> They're coming right for us. <laughs> it's like they had a heat seeker. Well, it's still open. <laughs> well, it looks like they are, in fact, still doing mobile. They just, I guess they're not taking any more mobile orders. They, they really screwed up Rancho, you guys. They really screwed it up. We could so be placing orders here right now, but instead we still have to wait in this queue. Liz is over there getting her tostadas, tostada salad. I am not happy with this. I am not happy with what they did to Rancho de Zocalo. Mobile order. Grr. Well, the light's poor, but that's a tostada oh, yeah. salad for the lady. Oh, no, no, that's no, 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 no. No? No. My bad. That just makes it blue. <laughs> you're blue. You're, you're blue. Anyway, there's your tostada salad. Uh, now, I know this is a very long video. I hope you guys don't mind that the rest of this video is just going to be her eating. Take your time. Drink some you got about 45 minutes to eat this tostada salad and drink that 
Oh, you're gonna see something I'll go really fresca. interesting. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We've had this a hundred times. We know it's good. It's so I, I they, they had the Mexican Caesar salad, which was one of my favorites. But I kind of wanted more. Like it's Caesar salad is a very simple salad. So it is. But this is a little more. It has like the pico de gallo, oh, yeah, that's good. sour cream. Where Caesar salad is just Caesar and salad. Now, I'm curious. I'm, did Caesar actually eat the salad? What do you mean? <laughs> Well, I mean, I know that he didn't, I mean, invent the salad, but I mean, did he like... No, didn't think so. I didn't think so. <laughs> it's nine o'clock. We just wrapped up our, our meal and it's just in time for Fantasmic. I think the start starts at nine, right? Yeah, it's like 8.58 or something like that. Yeah, we're going to get to test out my uh, secret weapon. I don't even think we're going to need that, to be honest. What? I'm sorry. We may not even need it. I don't think it's going to be a very crowded show tonight. No, I feel like everyone is their energy on Main Street because it's... Main Street, yeah, Electrical Parade. Yeah, it's yeah. going away in a couple days. Or by the time they go, this comes out, it might just be like the last day. Yeah. I haven't seen a Fantasmic show since I was doing recon <laughs> for that video now. Really? Welcome yeah. to Fantasmic. Hey, there we go. Tonight, a friend and host, Mickey Mouse, uses his imagination. Keep going. Go to, yeah, go to, uh... Hi! 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 Hey, guys! Hey, guys! But beware. Nothing is more powerful than the imagination. For it can also expand your greatest fears into an overwhelming nightmare. We now invite you to join Mickey and experience Fantasmic, a journey beyond your wildest imagination.
Let's do the thing. What thing? Pirates. Okay, we're gonna try to see if we can't snake our way into pirates. This would be the first time I've ever done this. We've gone directly from Fantasmic to pirates. Oh, we gotta go up the bridge. Oh no! So much for directly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this means we gotta go all the way around? Hey, how's it going? We could try and make a left at the tree. That'll be five bucks. Both sides are open. Hi guys! Hi! You can hear the fireworks going now. Do you see any constructioning? I don't see any right now. I can see the tree! This side was actually faster. It still worked out that way. <laughs> Makes me want to get a parrot, but only so that I can train the parrot to do that whistle and say yo ho. Well, we have great friends in the Bay Area, and I can tell exactly what kind of bird we can get. Is that possible? Ways. Can you can you train a parrot to do just those two specific things? To say yo ho and Birds are very and then smart do that specific animals. whistle.
said the others. Oh, that blast in the pocket picket pirate. about to do something really inappropriate, but I said we're filming. No, I wasn't. Why are you fighting? Why are you yelling like that, man? Dang. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so that, that was great, man. I, I, I said I've never done that before. I've, I've been on Pirates while Fantasmic is happening, but I've never bounced from Fantasmic to Pirates like that. That was fun. Yeah, I feel like we kind of did it wrong. So Why? Like on this side, or is, this, is that? Oh, it's reserved? but those are booked. Yeah, they're not, they're not reserved. But the standbys that are down here, you have to be here an hour ahead of time to get any kind of seat. Good evening, friends. Oh, good evening. Tonight, we're thrilled to once again present a classic Disneyland experience. Yeah, it's already fantastic In just again. 30 minutes, the rivers of America... Dude, will should we see Fantasmic? With sensational no. sights oh. and sounds. Okay, let's go get this way. Let's get out of here. Oh, we're going to have to go wide. Wait, which way? Yeah, <laughs> this way, honey. Well, oh. <laughs> oh, go no, this way, honey. Oh, we are going. That's why I'm sad. <laughs> you were so lost. Like, no. <laughs> I was, I was making a joke because they were all with the, the oh, wands and stuff. Okay, you can't do that to me. I, I, <laughs> I know, know, I know, I'm I know. Kind of newbie, so. <laughs> no, this is always post phantasmic. Well, they like stay, re, they reroute guests up here. here. Okay. Get away from the mayhem. By the way, lots of seats here. If you want to sit down and watch the show from right here. Yeah, you can get a funnel. Oh my God. Oh, I, I talk about it in the Fantasmic video that nobody watched, but uh, for this time of night, I mean, right now, it, it, this. Hey, how are you, man? Hey, uh, that's a lot of tables. Usually, there aren't that many tables available at this time of night, but it is the second show. Oh, I've got popcorn if you want some. Popcorn from Katsaka's Katsaka's kettle at Galaxy's Edge. Oh, sure. It's chocolate caramel. I don't know, I, I, you're right. We need to. Say, she just. Guys, she's yelling at me right now. Okay, we're gonna find a sweet drink instead. Okay, well, is there something at Store or a Golden Horseshoe? Well, we'd have to mobile order that. Well, we did it. We pulled over and ordered a. Uh, we get an orange float. Yeah, you threw me off when you said that we can pick our own. Did you know ice that? Cream? Yeah, you didn't no. know that. The only other ice cream flavor besides vanilla that might sound good. Is imagine, imagine ordering a root beer float with mint chip ice no, cream. No, that's weird. No. <laughs> like, I can pick like, maybe like a strawberry or like a cherry. So no, like, man, you can get any, of, you can get you can get butter pecan, you can get, no, yeah, no. chocolate. Well, I don't know, butter pecan and Coke might be tasty. I should I try that sometime. But I mean, just get weird, right? Just yeah, get now, weird. Now, like I'm intrigued. Now I feel like we should do it. Right. But no, we got an orange float with vanilla ice cream, but it's not, boy, Gibson Girl is popping right now. Hi. Hi. Uh, Gibson Girl is popping right now. It's a 30 minute wait on mobile order, so uh, we're gonna jump into the uh, Pioneer Mercantile. Let's do a little shopping. Oh, yeah. It's like old times. It's like old times. How much are you going? Are you going this way into uh, Crockett and Russell Hat Company for some straw hats and felts? Sorry. I mean, 
Oh, they finally. There's not enough Encanto. Oh, look, you can get the Encanto dress too. Yeah. No, it's the Encanto dress. I was kidding. Huh? Is her name actually on the dress? No, I mean in the movie. No, probably not. I think I need to get that movie on chance. I think you do too. Actually, if you got a minute, can we talk about Bruno? No. Oh, shoot. We cannot okay. talk about Bruno. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Because I, I mean, I just love Coco. I cannot believe they still have the screen used Back to the Future canoe here. What? Are you doing, are you doing a bit? You're the, doing a bit. The screen used Back to the Future canoe. Oh, yeah. Wait. I know this. It hurts my head. What's it from? Adam Wu and Justin Scarred. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, shout out to Adam Wu and Justin Scarred. Everything I just said is BS. It's, oh, okay, so, that's what I thought. You're yeah. pretty much. But it's a bit that we, even though even if you say it's not true, we were like, what? They used that in the movie? <laughs> Adam Wu started that a long was time it Adam? ago. Yeah. Of course it was. Or I don't know if it was Adam or Justin, or maybe oh, them together, I think. Probably. So it sounds like an Adam and Justin. Yeah. Like, These are cute. Because he's a Back to the Future guy. Really he's okay. best friends with Bit. Dude, can, dude, can we talk about that? Dude. <laughs> He's like best friends with Biff like, Tannen. Living, like, his, like, like his fantasy as a kid. Dude. Like, I'm friends with Biff. Like, legit. Like, they went to like a game, like a they baseball did. game not too long ago. They or did. Yeah. Anyway, what? Talking? So, Words? They're like, you can get it either in black or in white. It's exactly the same headband, but in different colors. What are you doing? <laughs> Just absorbing. <laughs> I can't see you. It's too big. I can't see. I can't see. I can't <laughs> how does anybody see, see I don't know how people are. But I mean, it's very it will, relaxing. I mean, it could definitely keep, you know, your face getting sun. I feel like that would be stressful. Mm, sour flowers. Gosh, I want some. Smells so tasty. Does the organ still work? Do you think it still works? Or whatever, the, whatever it's called. Now, who has a quarter? I was like, yeah, who still has a quarter? <laughs> Nobody's got quarters. There's a coin shortage going on, isn't there? Yeah, there's mushroom, peppers, peppers, olives. I think those are tomatoes. Yeah. They're like I, I want to like them. Oh, that's cool. And so this side. Is, that's what it shows what it actually is. Mushrooms. I mean, I think I get it. If you're a foodie. I just. But who's asking for the pizza? Pizza ears. Like, was there a demand for that? Did somebody write in and say I would buy a pair of ears if only you made one that looked like pizza? Yeah. Okay. Wait. What? It's just such a random game to have, but I love it. I kind of want Ooh, it. Okay. Oh, I see. Is that Dumbo? Oh, yeah, Dumbo. The train, the train. monorail, the teacups. Oh, my gosh. Teacups and then carousel, a hat. There's the castle. There's Dumbo. I think, yeah, it's like a mixture of like maybe even F. Oh, is this right here? I was just going to say, I think they listed. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> that was more fun that way, though. I actually really want this game. Uh, they're all 80 bucks. 75. What's this? Oh, this 35. I think it's just a, it's a small world game. Put in animals in the 3D game board to score. Match the most people. Oh, that my does God, not sound Sophie, like fun at all. Have this now? She's so smart. It says far enough, but let's be real, she can probably do it now. Because she's okay. she, knows, she knows how to do memory. Like She'll match the two cards. Oh, yeah. 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 
This jacket's back this year. I don't like the material. No? Yeah, it's probably, it? It's kind of heavy. No, it's like almost like a weight coat. Really. No, I, yeah, I didn't get that, though. No. I mean, it's not like a regular jacket no. material, but... I mean, it's, it's really cute, though. You I, need think the, I think you need the whole that. pants. You need the whole outfit, Provis I think. can pull that off. Yeah, no. Hey, how are you? They have a jack one, too. Oh, look at that. Candy bowl. Is it a candy bowl? You know, yeah. we need a new candy bowl this year because someone took ours last year, remember? Yeah, I remember that. Oh my gosh. This one smells like children. I smell children. <laughs> I made a Hocus Pocus reference. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, no. That's a spirit tree. I don't like it. That's cute. I like it. I almost like it now that I look at the bed again. I do like him. The other one is on its last legs. And they should really sell this. This is my first purchase. No, four minutes before we can before we leave. Oh. We have to kill four more minutes. We gotta kill four more minutes. Okay, let's yeah. talk about this one. What are we doing? Oh, that's the skeleton dance. Isn't that nice. Yeah. This was a silly symphony. I love the respect that they're paying to the classics, me man. Me too. Right? Respect the classics. See, that's a medium, but that looks tight. So I feel like a It large... feels like it would fit tightly as well. Yeah, I think a large would be probably the better. And they also have the hoodie. Oh, they got a hoodie which too. Which she's wearing, but it's cropped. Now, a black hoodie and 103 degrees. What, is that a good idea? <laughs> I mean, I would do it because it's really cute. Like, I like. I think I even like the crop one. I'm not usually a crop person. Oh no, I don't like. Yeah, it's true. I, but, but for you, yeah, obviously. Oh, what is this? Is this another candy thing? Or it's like I think it's for looks ice. like an ice bucket. Yeah, it's an actual ice chest. What is that? So if you're having a party, oh it's, yeah, it's these are the, tongs. Yeah, it's the tongs. It's an ice Those chest. are tongs. Rest in pieces. Nah. Of ice? Of ice. What's Halloween? I don't see them. This is a like thing. Yeah, what, a what is it? It's a bag. It's like a little, like a satchel. Maybe Jones wears one. Well, yeah. they're really leaning into the skeletons. There's a kid one too. Look, look at that. That looks crappy also though. It is a little crappy. Sophie would look so cute in one. Oh my god, it's your favorite cartoon. It is one of my favorites. It is. It's the one... Well, I mean, this is, this is the one I grew up with with the, the most because of that 80s Disney Well, that's a skeleton trade. dance also, isn't it? Yeah. No, these are two no stuff, but this is a different, this is the Mickey. Yeah. Yeah, this, that's like one of the very first, like it's I think. It's one of the very early one. ones, yeah. yeah. Where he gets that scared one the, by death. Yeah, yeah and the also, Reaper. and the Christmas one too. Yeah. With the, uh, at the Santa's workshop with the scary yeah. Christmas. <laughs> okay. That was fun. Now we are going to go Encounter the hell that is Main Street during a parade or fireworks show. Well, like fireworks show is over. There should be one more parade, right? What? There's like another parade still, right? Yeah. It's 10. It's 10:20. 10 10 10 oh. What? Oh, nothing. I guess the last one's at 10:45, right? <laughs> no, they go early now, right? So it's eight. Well, it looks like they're still waiting. No, 10:30 makes more sense. I don't know because they moved the they moved the first one to 8:45. No, I heard they changed to 8:30. Or 8:30, yeah, 8:30. It arrives down here on this end by 8:45. What's up? How's it going? Oh dear, he's got me going down here, huh? Okay. It feels like a super light crowd for the second show. It does. Super light. Oh, that's right. We're going in here, huh? What? <laughs> I'll take the lot. 
Would you like a cookie? I don't think I've ever, ever seen it bear ever in my life. Ever. It's a good thing you don't want one. Well, I mean, are they closing up early or is it No, that no, they busy? stay open until, they stay open past Hi. closing. Hi, I had it on the wrong, I had it on one. Because I was like really close. That was like double chin close. Yeah, yeah. It was like almost all face. <sighs> Scary. Um, I love orange floats. I love Rook, I love any kind of ice cream float. I am gotten, I got into orange floats because of you. But we are one day going to try. No, I'm down. Look, Rook I beer with mint chip. Not, no, no. <laughs> I think. Come on. Do they have a cherry flavor ice cream? Sure. Yeah, I think so. Like Bing cherry vanilla. What? Bing cherry vanilla. <laughs> I don't think they have Bing cherry vanilla no. Oh. Cause that would taste good, like a cherry coke or a strawberry coke. Um, what was the other one? A strawberry coke? Yeah, like you would do strawberry ice cream. With? Coke. Oh, with coke, yeah. I see. This would also taste, maybe taste good with strawberry, or you said one. Butter pecan? Maybe. I feel Ooh, like... Free. Maybe you, even chocolate might taste good. This no, is really fun. I think you need something citrusy with the butter pecan almost. Like the orange. This butter pecan and orange go together though? So no chocolate and orange, actually chocolate. Yeah, actually chocolate and orange good. goes together. Would be good too. Yeah. Ooh, ch chocolate ice cream with the orange soda. Mm. Mastermind. You know, we actually have a good spot for the Major Electrical Parade, actually. Good evening, everyone. It's almost time for the Main Street Electrical Parade. viewing experience. The lights will be dim and the area will remain in darkness for the duration of the parade. For your safety and for those around you, please be careful if you must exit during the performance. Thank you. I highly recommend not trying to exit during the performance. <laughs> No. No. Why can't you just do it through the straw? The, I, the straw's in there already. I gotta have some ice cream. You're so messy. Well, we've decided to try to head out before the show starts instead of daring, which was the advice that I just gave everybody. <laughs> I'm like, don't do that. Leaving during the parade is nuts. Even if they do open up the, the, the backstage exit. I mean, this is no bargain either, but... I do love showtime energy, though. Both with the uh, actual show and with the crowds, the expectation. Everybody's excited. They've been sitting here for an hour waiting. And then it happens. And they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that happened. Can we get on Main Street? Yeah, uh, Carnation. Okay. Oh, I heard that. Did you hear that? I heard that. Man, it is light. This is not a lot of people. Even for the second show. Is it one way only? One way only. Oh, it's right. It's coming from the other direction. I was I was trying to look for it behind me. <laughs> so we're gonna get it. Hey, how's it going? We're gonna get uh, a, a little taste of it before we go. Just enough to copyright this video. That sound.
All right, guys. Well, that's our show for this evening. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the long form content. We're going to sneak this one in. I think I'm, I, I think this is going to wind up on Fresh Bake proper. But if you like these kinds of shows, got a bunch of these uh, on Fresh Bake presents with more to come. So if you're not following us there already, please do so. And I'm going to uh, be going through turnstiles here in just a second. It's so final, that sound. It's like, you're leaving. You're gone. Bye-bye. Follow us on Instagram, underscore Fresh Baked. On Twitter, at Fresh Baked Disney. That's Fresh with no E. And on TikTok, at Fresh Baked Disney. And if you like our show, want to show your support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash Fresh Baked. Hey, by the way, while I got my wife here, Follow her on Instagram at Elizabeth Erickson one three one three. She's yep. a she's a good follow. I am on the Insta. <laughs> uh, we yep. love you guys. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. Fresh bake. Fresh bake. Night night.